Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. In this Wix tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how to utilize the mobile editor and create a mobile friendly website. When you're creating a website here on Wix, your desktop site is automatically converted into a mobile friendly site. Now these aren't two separate sites, they're just two different viewing modes of your website. So changes that you make to the desktop version of your site are going to affect the mobile friendly side but changes you make to the mobile friendly side are not going to affect the desktop side, which is cool because you can make site-wide changes here in the desktop version, and then on the mobile version, you can hide elements or adjust things so that it's just right for that mobile friendly look. Now to access the mobile editor, all you have to do is come right up here into the toolbar and you see we have the desktop site and we also have switch to mobile. If I click on that little mobile phone icon, it's going to switch to a mobile view of my site that is the height of my browser window. And I can then scroll down through the site and I can see what my site looks like automatically generated in this mobile format. Now from the left side over here, we actually have customized tabs for our mobile friendly view. So we have the menus and pages. When we click on that, we have the site menu here. We also have a mobile background editor as well as the mobile tools. So for instance, the quick action bar or the back to top button. We can see what elements are hidden in our mobile friendly view, which, which helps us differentiate between the desktop site and the mobile site. And we, go, we can also optimize our page layout. Now, if you don't want this mobile friendly view of your site, for instance, some of these mobile tools like the back to top button that appears, what you can do is go up into settings, go down to mobile friendly, and you can toggle on or off the mobile friendly mode. Now, mobile friendly does automatically resize text and images, create faster loading times, and also give you some of those mobile tools like back to top that help people navigate the site. But if you want more customization, you need it to be in a different way, you can enable or disable that feature here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it enabled. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to refresh and optimize your mobile friendly page. So the last tab here was the page layout optimizer and it gives us an optimize button. For instance, if we are working on our site and we move some elements around for, let's say I have some extra space here, whether that was created within this mobile view or it's passed over from the desktop side, this page layout optimizer is gonna help make automatic changes to the mobile side to really optimize the view, especially for viewing on phones. So if I click this, notice how it adjusts this space here because that was too much space, for instance, to be mobile friendly on a phone. And of course, we can preview this in the upper right hand corner and that shrinks the device so that it's a little bit more standard and you can do the same thing, scroll up and down, access the menu system and more. That's it for this video. If you guys learned anything, let me know or hit me up in the comments down below if you have any questions. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>